today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a tag video and this tag is created by my friend Angelica Lyrmar. I will of course leave her up here and down in the description. And this is a tag that she has done on her own and I love doing tags and this is a tag about eyeshadow palettes. And I love eyeshadow palettes. So this tag is called the eyeshadow palette lover tag. And it is 10 questions and I am going to answer them and show you some palettes. And I think it's always so hard to do these kinds of videos because I know that I can change my mind tomorrow about this. But yeah, I'm doing this now. Question number one, a palette I regret that I didn't buy. <laughs> and when I was thinking about that, I was like, okay, which one should I take? There is a lot of palettes that I would have loved to have like the Urban Decay Electric palette I would love to have that and Kaleidos Deep Sea Luster palette I would love to have that as well and also like Sugar Pill Capsule Volume 2 that was only sold on Ult I think couldn't get it to Sweden I would love to have that as well. So yeah, that is three palettes that I would really like to have. And that feels a little bit like I missed out on something. So yeah, but at the same time, I don't have them and I'm fine with that. Question number two, a palette I regret buying. And <laughs> it was like, which one should I take? But I took the Modern Renaissance, Modern Renaissance, Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It looks like this, if you didn't know. I bought this kind of late. Like after the whole hype around this palette. And I don't know why I bought it. I love the soft glam. That is really my colors. This is not my colors, so I don't know why I bought it. I've used it a couple of times, but... It doesn't feel like I got like anything out of it. The shadows are amazing, they are so so good, and if you like these colors, this is a palette for you. For me, it's not, and Anastasia's palette is mm, pretty expensive, so I regret buying this. I still keep it though, I don't know why, but I still do. Question number three, a palette I haven't used as much as I thought. A palette I haven't used as much as I thought, yes. And... I took the Vita palette from Melt. I love this color story. This is so me. I love everything about it. Even though it is three brownish shades in this, I still love it. <laughs> the one thing with this palette, this green shade, it is total crap. It's like the worst... It's like hard pan and it swatch pretty good, but on the eyes, no. And that has like put me off on using this, even though the other colors are really good. But this shade, it annoys the crap out of me, so I don't want to use it. And I thought I was going to use this palette so, so much. Question number four. A palette I use more than I thought. And I could like say all my green and my blue palettes because before I didn't like green like at all. Now I really really like green. But I took the Hasina 2 palette. This was one of the first palettes I bought from Blush Tribe I think. Blush Tribe is no longer available. And this palette is so freaking good. I love this palette. Even though I don't like purple that much, it doesn't feel like I like anything. I don't like purple that much, but this palette, I've used it so much. And I've used it outside of YouTube as well. And sometimes when I just want to sit down and play with makeup, I usually use this. So this I am used so much more than I thought I would. Question number five. <laughs> I thought it was so hard. And it is my favorite half neutral, half colorful palette. And I've been looking through my palettes and I like, I don't have that many. And the ones that I have, I don't like them that much. So it was like, 
okay <laughs> but i actually took the divinit palette from shroud and maybe you don't agree with me but i think this is kind of half neutral half colorful it's not that crazy colorful but it's still got like a green a purple and a yellow and then it has these more neutral shades and i really like this palette i think it's such a good compliment to the creepy cute and also it's just a really really good palette i am so happy that i have it i love shroud as a brand so i think this is my favorite half neutral half colorful and it is a half neutral half colorful palette question number six a palette i bought for the packaging and a lot but one that like i i was thinking about the minute i saw this question was the moon spell by lunar beauty when this came first when they just showed the front of it i was like i'm going to buy it and then they show the inside and i was like i'm not going to buy it then i saw videos and pictures on it on instagram and i was like okay i'm going to buy it it looks like this it's what i have on my eyes today i this is the best packaging i have ever seen on a palette it is just amazing it's so cool it's so it's sturdy it's i love it i love the back i love everything about this so <laughs> this is my a palette i bought a little bit about the packaging it is really really good i really like it but the packaging I don't know actually if I would have bought it if it ha had another packaging. I don't know. Question number seven. A palette where you like the mesh. What? Okay, now. Now it was a long question, Angelica. Question number seven. A palette that you like the shimmers more than the mattes. And I actually took... I saw Debbie's video and I think she took the same palette. Because we have a little bit love-hate relationship for this palette and it is the magic by uvia's place if you don't know what i'm talking about i can leave a video up here and you will understand exactly what i'm talking about this looks like this and this palette i like only use because of the shimmers some of the mattes are really good but I, i'm not picking this out to use one of the mattes this is like the shimmer palette I have and the shimmers in this is amazing like this gold shade is one of my absolute favorite golds I have this is an amazing palette when it comes to shimmers I love it so much for the shimmers even though I have had my issues with it but the shimmers in this are so 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 Oh, good then question number eight a palette that you like the mattes more than the shimmers and i actually took another uvs place palette and i took the Dusay. and this palette i this is the palette from uvs place i like the least it looks like this i don't know what uvs place has done with the formula in this the color story is fun it's really good it's not something that i have in another palette but this is like not the normal uvs place quality i don't know what happened the mattes i really really like like this crap 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 some words are so hard when they are like almost the same in english and in swedish because i want to say the swedish thing and then I'm trying to make it like an English word in my head and it's it's turned out to be crap. <laughs> uh, but crap in, in Swedish you should say would say crap. Really like that one. This cream is also really good and this chocolate is a really good dark brown. And the shimmers this tart is okay. The other ones mm, it's not like if you compare this to the magic palette it's like two completely different brands i don't know what happened so in this one i really like the mattes i don't like the shimmers like at all 
Question number nine, a palette that happily surprised you. And this was also <laughs> like all the questions were hard, but I took out the secret palette from Nabla. It looks like this. I like Nabla's shadows really, really much. They have some of my favorite formulas, but this is just, this is such a good palette. I really, really like this palette. And it is so easy to work with and the shimmers are so, so good. And if I would rank, rank my Nabla palettes, I think this would get pretty high because it's so freaking good. And I don't know because I like Nabla, but I didn't thought that I was going to like this palette that much. So this was a happy, happy, happy surprise, happily surprise, happy surprise. Question number 10, a palette with the most interesting color story. And I took a palette, I'm going to stop talking about this palette, I promise. I took the Arcana and I, I love this. I have talked, I don't know if that has come up before this. I have talked in another palette tag about this and this is the thing that i think is the most interesting is it's really like a grungy palette they did it all the way it's like 100 percent grungy palette because i feel sometimes they're trying to do like a more grungy palette and then it's like no it has to suit everybody so we put in some not grungy and more normal shades but i feel in this one it is the same. It's a really good color story and I think it's really interesting. And some shades in this is like, especially the shimmers, like this gold one. Yeah, I like gold. <laughs> and this one is so good. And also this one is really good. And I just really like this. And this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. One of my absolute favorite color stories. I really love it. And okay, I think that was all for this tag. I really hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out Angelica. Angelica, Angelica, Angelica Lyrumar. And uh, I think it's so fun that she has done her own tag. So thank you Angelica for doing this tag. It was a fun tag, even though it was a bit hard. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!